Stanley's Secret Written by John Sullivan Illustrated by Zach Manbeck Stanley was a quiet boy. When he attended birthday parties, he hid in the corner and read. When he gave a book report, he spoke softly. At lunch, Stanley quietly ate his sandwich with mayonnaise, even though he'd said, no toppings, please. When Stanley's classmates played sports, he sat on the bench and tapped his feet. Stanley dreamed of tap dancing on a big stage, but he was afraid to tell anyone, except his pet mice, Squeaker and Nibbles. After school, Stanley sometimes helped the janitor. When no one was nearby, he switched his shoes. Whether in an empty classroom, dark library, or quiet gym, Stanley tap danced to his heart's content. But if anyone came around, they found a quiet boy busily cleaning. One day, the teacher sent Stanley to the principal's office. Young man, I've been watching you dance. I'm shocked, she said. Stanley almost fell over. I'm sorry, Principal Reynolds. Sorry, the principal said. You're terrific. Have you signed up for the talent show? I can't, Stanley muttered. I've only danced in front of my mice. I won't take no for an answer, Principal Reynolds replied. Talent should be shared. Stanley had only weeks to overcome his shyness. He riffed for his rodents, flapped for feral cats, and ball changed for birds. Still, his stage fright stayed. With the talent show quickly approaching, Stanley mustered the courage to dance for a classmate. What do you think? he asked. Tom cheered. You're really good. He felt a glimmer of hope. Shuffle, heel, flap, stomp, riff. After school, Stanley slipped into the auditorium to practice. The stage lights glared. He closed his eyes and danced. Stanley finished with a series of spinning taps. Applause swelled. Who? Stanley's mouth fell open. The house lights came up. It looks like you're in the right place at least, said the drama teacher. You just walked into auditions. At the talent show, Stanley watched from the wings as a student played the saxophone, a unicyclist cycled, and a singer inspired the audience to sing along. As he watched, Stanley shrank smaller and smaller. How can I compete with such talent? At last, Stanley's turn came. He skittered onto the stage. Shuffle, heel, flap, stomp, riff. With each move, he gained confidence, pride, even joy. I've practiced these steps a thousand times. Stanley completed his number and took a bow. The crowd rose. I did it! 
he tapped off the stage as if dancing on air. When Principal Reynolds handed out the talent show prizes, Stanley won first place. You're right, Stanley admitted. Talent should be shared. And though Stanley performed whenever asked, and spoke up more and more, he still didn't like parties or sports. But his favorite audience remained... Squeaker and Nibbles. The End why do you think the author wrote this book? What was the author's message? Hope you enjoyed this story read by me, Star. Until next time, keep reading.